Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. I'm, uh, just, just, uh, as an FYI, I'm at... Mabel furiously switching all her secretaries to family-friendly costumes. I don't know if family-friendly and Azure Lane go together. Um, I'm, uh, oh, Mike's a little low. It's probably because I'm sitting far away from it. Because <laughs> I'm, so I'm, uh, I'm currently, there we go. I'm currently at, at, at Moose Parents' house. Um, so if the stream is a little funky, uh, their internet it's not as good as mine. I don't think Papa Moose wants to hear that. <laughs> but yeah, so if it's kind of wonky, uh, that's why. Um, also, I'm in a. I'm. I, I found a, a little corner of the house to sit in that should be quiet. Uh, but Mama Moose is actually out eating dinner with. Um, with Aunt Moose right now, and they are gonna come back. And I told them, I was like, I'm gonna be streaming. So like, please don't, you know, like crash into the room and yell my name or anything. <laughs> and I don't think they will, but uh, I think they'll, I think, I think Mama Moose will contain the situation. Uh, but just in case you hear them hollering when they come back. Also, Pop Moose is watching Buffy right now. Uh, so if you hear any yelling or anything, it's the TV. <laughs> uh, Mama, Mama, Moose, Mama Moose knows how to control the situation. She's good at that. She told me too. Uh, she was like, what time are you streaming tonight? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream at eight. EST and she was like she was like oh, we're barely gonna be like it's like we talk forever we're gonna probably be out way longer than that so don't worry even worry about it I was like okay <laughs> um there are a shocking number it's eight for you yes <laughs> I'm not used to the the time zone switching I'm really not good at it I'm not good at it in either direction uh, Cause when I come back here, uh, I wind up just being really tired all the time, because it always, cause cause I, it feels like I woke up way earlier than I was supposed to, and then when I go back to West Coast time, it feels way later than it's like I I'm not I'm not good, I've never been good at at what's what's it called, like jet lag stuff. Um, ironically, going to Japan, I've never had a problem. Um, even whether it was a short trip or a longer trip, I've never had a problem going to Japan. I've always adjusted really fast and kind of gotten on a good schedule right away. But coming back from Japan, the first time I came back from Japan, um, was really rough. Like, I could not fix my sleep schedule to save my life. That was... I was really lucky, though, because a lot of games came out while I was, uh, in Japan that, like, I didn't have my consoles and wouldn't have wanted to pay to ship overseas anyway. Uh, so when I came back the first time, I had, like, all of these games waiting for me, like, Vanquish, uh, and... Oh, what was the other game that came out? uh enslaved enslaved uh with with monkey um so i i had like a whole a whole bunch of games lined up and uh and so i just basically played them until like 10 in the morning every night <laughs> until eventually i sort of forced myself onto a good schedule just like by by force of will but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not good with jet lag. So I've been sort of out of it. I actually, I accidentally fell asleep early. <laughs> I fell asleep. Mom was in Aunt Moose before they left for dinner. I was like half asleep, but I was sitting up. <laughs> and I just, I heard Aunt Moose go, she's asleep. And I heard Mom Moose go, yeah, she, she power naps. We just leave her alone. <laughs> I was like, oh God, I'm sorry. I'm just so tired. <laughs> see the oh yeah i forgot to ask how's the the desktop oh i don't even have 
Can you guys hear the music now? Is it too loud? That. Kill that. Loud. Too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's this? How's this? It kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XI. Now it's real low. I can't do anything right. Um. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XI music. Actually, it reminds me of like the Vanadil March. It reminds me of like the music that would play in the cities or on the opening, on the opening screen. It's probably why I like Azure Lane so much. It brings me back to the days. Um. Let me see. So the last time I played Azure Lane, I have to be careful about, like... I guess I can't help it where I'm gonna click on, but... The last time I played Azure Lane, I got DMCA'd by, like, a hundred... It is, it is a banger. It is a banger. Uh, they finally added a, a wedding dress for Helena. Wait, are the names? Oh, the names that you give your married ships must be local to a client. Cause I've, all of my married ships have have unique names, but they are not here. Turned off your custom names and settings? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, they finally added a an oath dress for Helena, which long time coming in my opinion. I like her retrofit outfit. But, but but now she's now she's my wife. I have a few I have a few uh oath rings burning a hole in my pocket, but I'm trying to get Noshiro. I don't think I'm doing a good job. Ah, she's getting there. I'm trying to get because I want her, she has an oath outfit. She, oh, look at how cute she is! Um, but so, for people who aren't familiar with Azure Lane, uh, basically every ship might want to lower the volume like a smidge. Um, basically every ship, let me make this bigger, actually, while I'm in the neighborhood. While I'm in the neighborhood. I'm trying to let my antlers get in the way. Um, there you go. Um, every ship that you unlock, and I'm and I'm proud. I'm pretty proud of my collection. I am missing a few girls. I have all the. I think I have all but one retrofit now, though. I think the only retrofit I'm missing is G. Is it Sendai or Jinsu? It's one of them. Sendai. Um, and that's because I'm still trying to get her as a drop. But I have all the other retrofits. Um, and I'm pretty happy. A lot of a lot of the girls I don't have are like bound to events that I'm didn't get for one reason or another, whether it was just it re-ran at a time where I wasn't like playing heavily or or whatever. But but I'm 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 reasonably happy with my ship collection. You see the coronet part of Kiara's sneak peek of Holocure? I haven't because I want to be 
I want to be shocked and surprised, but also if she throws boxing gloves and collects UVs, that's all I want. That's all I want out of her character. <laughs> I've, I've grinded out, I've grinded out uh, 20,000 coins now, so I should have 20 pulls for Coronet. Um, so, no, 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 it's not like spoilers or anything. Um, I'm just, I'm just like, I wanna, I wanna, when I, when I pull her, I want it to be, I wanna, it's like I wanna see her for the first time. You want more coins? No, I'm, I mean, I have 20 pulls. I feel pretty good about 20 pulls. If I don't get her, if I don't get her in those 20 pulls, I'll just play until I get more coins to, <laughs> to do more pulls. I mean, I'm gonna have new characters to try out one way or the other. Um... But yeah, so I so I'm pretty proud of my ship collection. I have like 90% of the ships. But when you unlock a ship, you got you got some options. Obviously, you can see what skins she has. I forget what the archive is. Oh yeah. The archive is like her deets, her biography, her, the expressions she uses, who her voice actresses, all that, all that good stuff. But what's this? Oh. But in and around, yeah, San Diego is is excellent. We love, we love, we love Sister Sandy. But um, in and around all the other stuff you get, you get comments now people can comment on ships um that they own and people leave a lot of comments people have a lot of thoughts and people want to express those <laughs> people have a lot to say about their ship wives and some of the comments are like oh my god who put who put this here and some are are raw genius um, so we're gonna go through, even if they shouldn't, sometimes people should not express their mind. <laughs> let's, so like, for example, let's see what Sandy's is. <laughs> um, so there's, there's always two top comments, uh, and then everything else is whatever, whatever is most recent. Uh, and so, and so you get like the, the ones that people upvote the most and then whatever's happened most recently. So, yay 10 medals or my luck sucks, god de damn it. Uh, Watashi wa namba one. You were expecting Dio, but it was me, San Diego. So, a lot of people want to say S Sandy's number. Yeah, a lot of memes. Here's my wife. Um, they're just like me for real, for real. I told you Nyahalo would win and Cosmos version bunny. <laughs> That's the first thing that I thought when I saw New Jersey too. You can't really tell as much when I have her, when I have her fat ass and her wedding dress but her uh she definitely has big cosmos vibes the caked up wedding outfit she definitely has big cosmos vibes and her like i mean look at the headset like you can't tell me you can't tell me that whoever designed her was not playing xeno saga like two seconds before he drew this And then I love the people who just get really personal. Gave her beautiful named Nicole after Oath. <laughs> Bikini skin for our goddess, please. Hi, honey. <laughs> I 
I suffered to get you, it was worth it. No pity gag. I want to put her back in her pretty dress. Why does that card say New Jersey? Because her name's New Jersey. She's the USS New Jersey. And she's got a fat booty. I feel like I already know what these ones are gonna say, but... Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, it's pretty much... Uh, <laughs> all of the submarines have comments that are, that are just that. Let's see. I hear New Jersey smells bad to outsiders. I've been to New Jersey... I've never, like, been there for a long period of time, but I've, like, driven through it. Um, so I can't really, like, comment on the smell, but I will say that everyone was really rude to me at the, uh, at the rest stop on the highway. <laughs> Even though I just wanted, like, a water. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes, could I have one water, please? And, like, somehow three people acted like I ruined their life and I was like, what's happening in New Jersey? <laughs> they had a reputation to uphold. So this is my wife, Big E. That's at least what I named her on, on my phone. Satisfied with this waifu. Yeah, you are. Good waifu. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Every day is a lot. Good American waifu. I was looking for Shokaku, but I got her. Seems she is very good than Shokaku. I just gave her the promise ring. <laughs> I don't want to see your freaking medals collection. Alexa, play fortunate son. Dim armpits holds all men's dreams. <laughs> I have married two enterprises in China and I will do it again. <laughs> Glory, <laughs> this is so foul. <laughs> Glorious gun shoes packing. 11 out of 10 would ram her stern side. Much love to the Azure Lane community. <laughs> yeah, I like how many people are just like, good waifu, top waifu. Yeah, I wish I could see what, what outfit they're looking at when they make a comment. I feel like a lot of the recent comments are going to be like, thank god she has an oath sc I've read this doujin before. <laughs> we'll try to read her doujin later. <laughs> Why are the top comments about doujin? <laughs> Oh, I'll talk about the retrofit. What about the oath outfit, guys? Who allowed her to be that cute? Yeah, everyone begging for the wedding dress. You guys got it. You got it. Spoiler alert, there are no doujins. I love her text is best I have seen. <laughs> or her love text. <laughs> I read it, I was like, what? I 
I don't know what this means, and I'm really scared to look into it. Dojin source. I love people are in here like, you're all talking about the Dojins. Drop the link. All these comments on her booth while I'm here admiring her eyes. <laughs> Just got her meta version day. I think her meta's really good. Thank you for following, Yuffie. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think her meta's really good. <laughs> Given it's the Azure Lane community, you're right to be afraid. <laughs> I think most of the metas that you have to actually, uh, grind, uh, uh the, the, the what is it called the siren stuff for um yeah no her de her debuff is still really good um but the ships that you have to grind the the metas that you have to grind the siren stuff for um tend to be really really good and then the metas that you can get their crystals through the cruise missions tend to be kind of whatever um, which sucks because they're way easier to uh, complete their stats. But obviously, because it's much easier to do it, they're not going to be as good. Yeah, Operation Siren Grind. This, the grind is really rough, but honestly, I feel like Azure Lane. And I'm not trying to be flippant here because I do like Azure Lane, but Azure Lane. Oh, I love her nurse outfit. Azure Lane, in a way, kind of plays itself enough that you don't really have to <laughs> like yeah it's annoying <laughs> it's annoying to have to to grind it out and and resource manage and and you know look back to your phone to click stuff but for most battles azure lane kind of plays itself or it can so it's less bad than for example something for me for me, I've never, um, sorry, I'm on the, I'm on the floor again. <laughs> We're back to the floor days. <laughs> um, one MOBA game that I've never really, like, gotten into. And, like, this is not to say I don't have an account. Like, I have an account and I have played it and I occasionally log in and do a draw, like, just because. And then I'm like, okay, I'm never playing this. I've really never gotten into Fate Go. Because... It, there's no auto battle. And, like, it's not like I always auto battle on Mobage. Um, like, especially stuff like Grand Blue, where you need to do stuff in a specific order, and stuff like Girls Frontline, where you really can't, I mean, you can, you can auto battle in the fights, but you can't auto battle on the map. Um, like, I at least have the option in those games to let it auto grind for me if there's something that I need to actually grind for. In Fate Go, I'm just like, you're making me push these cards over and over, even if, like, these are little baby servants that I'm fighting that could do nothing to me. Like, you're really gonna make me push the button. So I, I wind up never playing it. I did draw Castoria um, in their last big event thing just because all of my friends were trying to pull Castoria and they were really mad because they couldn't get her. And I said, Lamau, I bet I'll get her on my first draw. And I didn't, I got her on my second draw. <laughs> and then promptly logged out and haven't logged back in since, which makes them all completely furious. Want to give us an update from the last stream when you drank and had a meeting the next day? Yeah, I was actually fine. Um, I, uh, 
the the worst the worst part the next day was my stomach just felt kind of funky throughout the day but i think that was more because of the pilk than anything else um because it was really just like it was kind of off in the morning like i woke up and i had my breakfast cereal and 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 my coffee and i was like i feel kind of funky but then like i took a little nap uh once i was off work is uh because I that was that was the night that I had I had friends coming over to see Prey and I was fine. We need pilk punishment games. No, <laughs> I feel like that's the opposite takeaway. Um, but yeah, I mean I I have some good Fate Go units. I have like I have Castoria. I have what's this? like L I, I don't know how to pronounce his real name it's grown up um waver is it L Malloy um is tits turned on it should be Did that work Okay, it's working. <laughs> Thank you, Zuni, for the bits. Uh, Julian, yeah, 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 yeah. I have, I have grown up Waver, the caster guy, and then I have the green-haired Lancer, whose name I can't remember, but they're really good. And I have There's somebody else who's really good. I have like, I, I basically I, I log in and I like pull, I, my, my, my standard of play is I log in, I pull the character all my friends are currently trying to pull for, and then I log out and I never play. Um, and I've always thought that I would really, cause I, I really like Fate, and like, I really, I like Fate and I like MOBA gay, there's just something about Fate Go that just does not. <laughs> It just does not work for me. I don't know why it's Enkiru. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't know why some of the emotes aren't triggering. It's that's weird. Uh -uh. Hmm. Is that like Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. My um, my old roommate actually. Uh, my old, my old uh, Americans cannot stop me roommate. Uh, he was he started playing Fate Go when it released in Japan. Um, and he would like show me, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I I hope they bring this to America someday, because like, I have to basically change my my phone's store region to Japan if I wanna if I wanna play this and. He was like, oh yeah, he's like, but it's great though, you should you should definitely play it. And I actually did wind up changing my region to, to Japan to play it for a little bit, just because I wanted to, to check it out, but then I didn't I didn't really get into it um, until it came out in English, and then all my friends started playing it, and I was like, well, I'll play it because they're playing it, and then I was like, I hate this, and I don't want to spend my time on it. Um, but he he started playing really early in the Japanese release, and like less than a week after it had come out, he he was like playing, and I sort of joked to them. I was like, "Oh, have you spent any gotcha money yet?" And he was like, "Yeah, I've spent about a thousand bucks." And I was like, "You what? <laughs> you want to you want to run that by me?" I was like, "I was like, we have to be having like a miscommunication here because." is back. <laughs> I hope they don't open the door. Um, so I thought we were having a miscommunication and I was like, and I was like, you know, cause, cause we were, we were using Japanese at the time and I was like, 
I must just be mishearing him or we're having like a weird like conversion rate issue. And he probably means he spent like $10. And so I swapped to English and I was like, can you say that again? I was like, can you tell me how much you've spent? And he was, and he confirmed $1,000. And then he, and then he translated it into yen for me. And it was a thousand dollars in yen. And I was like, and I was like, bro, are you sure? And he, <laughs> and he was like, um, he was like, well, he was like, the game has social aspects. And so I think it's worth it. And I was like, what social aspects? I wouldn't spend a thousand dollars on like a real life social engagement. <laughs> I was perfectly normal. He was completely unfazed by it, and I just kept asking him. I was like, "Are you sh like?" I was like, "Should uh, like should you be playing this game? Can you can you handle this?" And he was like, "Yeah, I don't care." <laughs> to be fair, this is the same guy who bought the. Uh, $400 painting of Yoda to hang in our living room. And when I was like, why did you buy this? He was like, it was 20% off. So it was a really good deal. And I was like, oh, so you only spent, you only spent $400 on your, on your Yoda painting instead of $500. <laughs> so I, uh, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, if it brings joy, he he was definitely he was definitely the patron saint of knowing what sparked joy for him. Did not always spark joy for me. Sometimes I was like, do we need to have the Yoda? Do we need to have it right in the middle of the living room? Like, <laughs> I have friends coming over. You won't let me leave my 3DS on the Kotatsu, but we have to have this Yoda up 24-7. It's vital. <laughs> he knows value when he sees it. He also bought like a really expensive lightsaber too, and he made me take videos of it. We <laughs> Our life in that house is like definitely like a a a Japanese sitcom uh, but he made me take videos of him like swinging his lightsaber around like I felt like I was uh, I felt like I was a lightsaber kids or Jedi kids mom because <laughs> he made me take videos of him like slow-mo slow-mo swinging his lightsaber around and because uh, <laughs> he wanted to send them to his friends in Japan <laughs> and he was <laughs> and he was like he was like no here get it from like a low angle so I look really powerful and I think some of them are still on my phone they're just like and he's in like onesie pajamas because <laughs> he wanted to look like a Sith Lord and I was like what am I doing right now <laughs> Oh, it was good. People were always, people were always like, so what new, what fresh new tales do you have of your home life? And I was like, well, my roommate spent a thousand dollars on Fago and made me take a bunch of slow-mo videos of him in a onesie and a lightsaber. So how's your day? <laughs> Sounds like the perfect roommate. He was pretty good. Sometimes he would come home and throw tacos at my head, which I didn't hate. <laughs> I would just be like sitting in my room. Well, that was the thing is, um, is for some reason, and I think it was a ploy because when I moved in, cause, cause he had two, there were two bedrooms in the house. And so he was renting one of them out to me. Um, and so when I moved in, I was like, oh, which bedroom should I take? And he gave me he gave me the bigger one, which I was surprised because I was like, I think you're still paying more of the rent. So I'm surprised that you'd give me the bigger room. And he was like, oh, you're a girl. You need more space. And I was like, well, I'll, I'm not going to say no. Uh, and then, like, I learned later that he gave me that room as sort of a ploy, I think, because it was like 
the window was closer to the street or something. He thought it was going to be louder and more annoying. But what he and and he uh, he thought the room was going to be hotter because I had more windows. But I also had an AC unit in my room that he couldn't figure out how to work, and he thought it was broken. And so he was like, "Well, that's broken, and it's going to be hotter, and I hate the heat, so I don't care." Uh, so he gave me that room basically to like pawn it off on me. Uh, but then, uh, much to his <laughs> much to his dismay, I quickly fixed the AC unit and figured out how to get it working. <laughs> and uh, and so during the summer, my room was like freezing cold because I I like it really chilly, and I was like ah nice. And so I would like after a really hot day, I would come home and and just like cool off in my room and it was wonderful and then he was furious because his room was super hot and he didn't have an AC unit in there and he was like I thought yours was broken that's why I gave you the room and I was like well you played yourself so some nights if I if I came home after him which is pretty rare because he always wanted to like he was we, we were co-workers and, and he was kind of busier than me <laughs> that's saying a lot but he was busier than me um so, but on the rare night where I would come home later for one reason or another, just because I was working later or I had plans or something and I came home, I would always find him sitting in my room on my computer watching multi-level marketing videos on YouTube and like eating bacon. <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing in my room? And he was like, it's cold in here. And I was like, stop clogging up my YouTube history with multi-level marketing videos. <laughs> Go to your own room. <laughs> but I think I think he was trying to make up for it by he would sometimes bring home tacos and I would just be sitting in my room enjoying the cool air and he would fling a taco at my head. I was like, thank you. <laughs> you may you may once again use the AC. <laughs> the AC that I that I rightfully I've rightfully claimed for my own. Why was he so into multi-level marketing? He wasn't really into like multi-level marketing as a concept. It was just that he liked the way they talked. Uh, that's how he was trying to learn English. So he was mostly learning English through movies and multi-level marketing videos. And he was like, I just, and so I asked him cause I was like, I was like, why are you? <laughs> Like, it was one thing when, when, like, all the things he said to me in English were, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi quotes, because I was like, I know where he got these from, and he's, like, trying to learn English from Star Wars, and I respect that. Go off, King. Uh, but then, uh, he... He... He must have gotten pushed a video on YouTube or something, because he found one multi-level marketing guy, and he was like... He just liked the way he talked, he liked his voice, and he liked his, like, ca cadence of his speech, I guess? And so he would just, like, basically repeat the stuff that he said to, like, try and learn sentence structure. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no problem! <laughs> um... <laughs> So, um, so he would, he would repeat all that stuff back to me. Uh, <laughs> um, and it would be like, it was a lot of stuff like sell your house or like sell your house by freedom and stuff like that. But he, he would say that stuff to me and I was like, uh, your sentence structure is correct, but I don't know if that's necessarily like. I was like, I don't know if you know what you're saying or if you just like how it sounds. <laughs> um, and so that was sort of his two main ways of learning English. Uh, and so that's why he would always watch those videos on my computer because he was trying to like practice his English. Um, which was fun. I was like, whatever your process is. I was like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta live your process. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do to learn English. But at the same time, I was like, maybe don't fill my YouTube history with, <laughs> with, I was like, you're messing up my algorithm, man. 
Yeah, in his defense, the lines are meant to sound good. That was that was exactly the problem. Sounds like the type that would quote E.T. I'm 90% sure he has quoted E.T. to me before. Um, he had a lot of like favorite like Star Wars quotes. I think his favorite was Obi-Wan's um, In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Uh, but he also liked... He also liked like... Breaking Bad. Um, to learn from, uh, so he, <laughs> one of my favorite, <laughs> two of my favorite, like, Breaking Bad moments with him where he, uh, he tried to, <laughs> Sorry. people are really crap. <laughs> um, he, he wanted to say the line, uh, uh, I'm the one who knocks. So he wanted to like memorize, I am the one who knocks. And so, but he would say it to me really threateningly. So he would like come home and he would be like, I am the one who knocks at the door. And I was like, you're close. You're close. You gotta adjust. You gotta adjust the line just a little bit, just a smidge. You're almost there. You're like one word off. Um, so I was like, try it again. And he like thought about it. And he looked at me and he was like, I am the one who is at the door. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I mean, you're getting the point across. Hi. <laughs> um, I was like, you're getting your point across. So you don't need to, you don't need to, to do it perfectly. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, but another time he just took a picture of my cat and superimposed her cute little face over, like, that really menacing photo of Walter White <laughs> and just, like, sent it to me. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> and he never explained it to me. <laughs> Um, he, he mostly played games in Japanese, but he tried to, like, have the English audio on if it was available so he could practice and, and listen. Uh, but there was, there was one game, uh, where, I think it was Dead Rising 3, it just didn't have, like, at the time at least, it didn't have a Japanese translation, but he was a huge Dead Rising fan. And so he made me play it, but he was like, I'm going to tell you what weapons to use. I'm going to tell you like what to do and where to go. But like, you have to translate the game back to me. He was, he was basically like, you're going to be my hands here because I can't read and I don't know what's going on. But then you have to like, tell me why you're doing stuff. And I was like, okay. And he was like, and then I'll give you guidance. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we, uh, and so we, we played Forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I was the since I was the Moose Kage. Um, but yeah, he uh, he he made me play Dead Rising Three as his hands while he told me what to do. But he uh, he made me use. He made me use, like, the... The bear claws and the weird, like, spandex onesie and then, like, a serve bot hat. And I had to I had to roll around in that monstrosity and I was like, are you sure this is what you want to wear? And he was like, yes, I am completely sure. <laughs> Don't ask me any more questions. Where where does that where did it say you were supposed to go next? <laughs> um Evening, evening, Joe. Uh but yeah, so uh so we we had we had a lot of good times. He was a wild roommate, but very he was very interesting. He gave me a lot of good stories. <laughs> See when people are like, did you play Dead Rising? I'm like, technically. <laughs> I played Dead Rising 3, technically, but I was I was somebody else's avatar, so did I play it? <laughs> Let's 
let's see. So this is one of my wives. I actually don't know why I haven't married her yet. I want her to get an oath skin really badly. Does he stream? I wish he did. But I feel like he wouldn't know what to do with himself if he streamed. He's one of those people who like in, if there's like one or two people that he's with, he's like completely wacky. And then when he's in front of like a crowd, he's like less sure of, he gets really serious. Well, cause he, he, He's like a, he's, he's older than me. He's older than me. And he's, he's a Japanese dude. And he's like a Japanese dude with like a really proper like job. Um, like he's kind of, uh, he's kind of a, like a big shot, I guess, where, where we worked. And so, um, and so like, I, I used to have people, I, I used to have, they weren't really like my, senpai they were sort of just like people who are at the same level as me but they were they were japanese and they would ask me they were like you talk so casually with him and i was like yeah we're roommates and then i would think about it and i was like oh like to them it probably looks like i'm being super disrespectful <laughs> or like or like like we're just like violating the rules of japanese business culture but i was like but it's like but at the same time, he would like come home and he would be like, teach me English swears. And I would be like, oh, okay, uh, uh, there's, there's, you can say fuck. And he's like, how, how do you use it? And I'm like, you say like, fuck X, fuck Y. And so then he went around the whole house saying, fuck TV, fuck refrigerator. And then I just heard him walk into the kitchen and go, bitch. And I was like, I didn't tell you that one. <laughs> And so, like, after enough, after enough, like, experiences like that, you're, <laughs> you're just, like, you're, like, I can't, like, go to this person and be, like, and be, like, oh, oh, sumimasen, oh, tsukare, oh, saki ni shitsure shimasu, oh, domo domo, like, I was, like, I was, like, I cannot possibly treat him like the senpai I'm I'm supposed to treat him like and so but it just like sort of overflowed into work and then yeah the Japanese people were horrified by it they're like you're so you're so casual with him and I was like yeah <laughs> I mean the man made me play Dead Rising 3 for him I think I think we're beyond me having to call him senpai and <laughs> um but yeah, that was always, but, but the, the thing was he, he was very like proper in front of, especially, especially people, definitely people who were like at his level or above his level. He reverted to full like Japanese business etiquette, like at the drop of an, at the drop of a hat. But then like the, the higher ups would like leave the room and he would be left with like me and another coworker and he would turn around and make like a really stupid joke and we were like yeah, how do you swap how do you swap modes so fast like that but uh one one e3 um uh <laughs> he he drove he drove one of the the vans because we would all like carpool to e3 um and then afterwards uh me and him had to stay stay late at E3 for some stuff but then we were meeting everybody else for sort of a post show like celebratory dinner but there were a bunch of higher ups there um like like his his superiors and his bosses and uh <laughs> and so but he drove we drove together uh from, from the convention center to this restaurant that we were all meeting at and I had the window rolled down because it was a really like toasty day and I was sort of enjoying the breeze. And he was doing his usual thing. He used to like quote, <laughs> he would quote pop songs. <laughs> um. And so he, <laughs> he would like Adele would come on the radio and he would be like, hello but GTA and then speed up to like a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? Or like he would, uh, or another one of his favorite things to do was he, he really liked GTA five. 
And so he would like point at like corners that we would pass and he'd be like, I killed somebody there. And I was like, you can't really say that. <laughs> like, you can't just say that in LA. <laughs> like, I know that you mean GTA 5, but other people don't know that you mean GTA 5. <laughs> but like, so, so he would, <laughs> but GTA is a lesser known Adele track. But, uh, so he would just like say stuff. So we were like joking around and, and, <laughs> and he was like quoting a bunch of stupid stuff and making GTA jokes. Um, and then at one point he wanted to take a left turn into the restaurant parking lot. We finally got there and I had my window down <laughs> and he, as he, t and he saw a car coming the other way and I was like, eh, maybe you should wait for it to go. It's kind of close. And he went, no GTA and floored it and took like this really dangerous left turn. And as he turned into the parking lot, he just started yelling, hage, 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 hage. <laughs> Like at the top of his lungs, and I had the window rolled down, and I was like, "Brother, what are you doing?" And I looked out my rolled down window, and like standing outside of the restaurant as we flew by them, were all of, were all of his his bosses and his higher ups, and I was like, "Oh god!" And he just like immediately like froze, and he just looked like he was like. And I just looked at him and he turned to me and he said in English, he said, he said, maybe tomorrow I am not at company. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think they heard you. Maybe they didn't hear you. Why did you let him drive? Because I was an idiot. <laughs> words he didn't know but he would like repeat them because he heard me say that's probably where he learned bitch from is because I would yell it while playing games and then he would just repeat so I sort of learned to not say certain phrases too loud or too much because I was like he will take that and run with it and say it in front of a higher up and the higher up will look at me and be like who got him this and then I will be out of a job <laughs> um but there, there was one night <laughs> There was one night where uh, he was giving me he was giving me and another coworker a ride home, and uh, as we were walking to the car, we had been like walking like I forget where we were, or what we were doing, but we'd been walking a lot, and I was kind of like really tired, and he had forgotten where he parked, <laughs> and so we were walking all over the place trying to find his car, and we couldn't find it, and he was like, "Huh, I don't I don't know where my car is." And the co the coworker who was with us said something like snide to me, like I don't know, probably because I was like walking slow or I was complaining about my feet or something, and they were probably just like, oh, like poor, poor Maple, do you need a do you need a piggyback ride or something like that? And just like reflexively, I just went suck my dick, and. Uh, immediately, my roommate turned around, clearly not knowing really what I said. He turned around and snapped at me, You can have dick when we get back to the car! <laughs> and we both just stopped and looked at him, we were like, Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna give you a lesson really quick, never say that again! <laughs> We're like that. It's not. That's not a good sentence. It's not a good phrase. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that was one of the things I learned not to say around him because I was like, uh oh, that's inviting trouble. <laughs> so he will mix this in with something else. Ah, oh, good times. Good times. We anyway, back to the comments. <laughs> I got on that huge tangent. Unless you're talking about the British food. Maybe he thought that's what it was. I don't know. Light carrier? I don't believe you. That's fair. Goodbye, Akashi. 
Was this how Maple mastered the sh Yeah, actually, that was part of it. <laughs> I was trying to like cut myself off from all of the all of the stupid stuff I would say in front of him that he would then take and run with. And I was like, Ugh, <laughs> I'm gonna get us both in trouble. Nine thousand years later, still no oath skin. Oath skin por favor. Devs oath skin where oath skin all of these people understand me. I want your oath skin, oath skin, <laughs> skin oath, please. <laughs> My <cousin. laughs> I love. Learning to look after children by looking after grown ass children. <laughs> uh oh. I feel like we know what genre. Best starter. She's just hmm, too cute. Make sure to give head pads. Cutest starter. You had a loose top. It's your fault. What does that mean? You're my favorite starter Pokemon. I want to put. Her name's Javelin. I want to put my Javelin inside her. Married her the day I got rejected really helped 100%. Can't have Javelin without Jeff. <laughs> Every time she gets MVP, I rip the headphones off my head. This is, this is why I love the Azure Lane comment section so much. <laughs> Point. <laughs> Only few chosen one got this. I am the true Chad Udachi enjoyer. Udachi best girl. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good doggo, good doggo. Best under boobs ship. This is Meverse levels of quality. I used to love reading through Meverse. I've I've definitely I've told the story a hundred times, but I found I used to just like go through and just read like Meverse comments for for certain games because they were always amazing. But I found one kid whose entire Miiverse existence was devoted to putting Eggman into every game. And so he would, like, on every single game's, uh, like, community page or whatever it was called, he would draw Eggman, but in the context. And they were, like, not, like, sp particularly good drawings, but, like, he would draw Eggman into the context of whatever game he was posting on. And my favorite was his Splatoon Eggman because he wrote Splat Egg Oon, I'm in Splatoon. <laughs> I love Beavers. <laughs> I wish it would come back. What was the, there was the, the Sonic one too where uh, Somebody posts a screenshot of a of a sproingy a sproingy thing like right at the end of a long straightaway and was like, why would you put this here? And someone was like, it's a trap, so you don't just hold for it. The person responded, yeah, me standing outside your house with a baseball bat is also a trap to stop you from moving forward. I'm I'm streaming. Oh, no, I'm still- I'm still streaming right now. <laughs> I still- Mario. <laughs> okay, I will.
I'm glad you can barely <laughs> They were like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm streaming. And they were like, oh, like a class? I was like, no, I'm streaming right now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> I don't need to mute, they didn't say anything bad. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> I, I think they're both sober. I think they're like my mom my mom knows essentially what I'm doing, but I think she's like, I don't know how to explain it to somebody else, like <laughs> explain it, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm live right now. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, ret retorfit. <laughs> Retrofit got me acting up. Why farm when you can buy? Hashtag course. A wizard is never late. <laughs> you, just, you just missed half my family rolling in here asking me what I was doing. still hear them right outside. <laughs> like right outside in the hallway <laughs> discussing it. <laughs> I don't know I don't think they're gonna be here tomorrow when I stream. Oh god. Anyway, the legs of freedom, that's true. I don't know what this means. Freedom armpits. All right, we got more. We got more armpit buddies. This would have to be a redeem suggestion of a game. I would like your honest opinion, if you want to hear it. Sure. Did you tell them chat said hi? I'll tell them next time they wander in. <laughs> Got her on July 4th, no regrets. Got Independence on Independence Day. And now my oil will rest. <laughs> have you heard of a game called Ultra Kill? I don't know if I have. Sorry I'm reading slow. I assume I assume every like question I get in chat now is going to set, set me up for a D's nuts joke and so I read it like 3 times before I say it. <laughs> I don't remember if I got her through farming or if I had to buy her. She doesn't have an oath skin, right? Or maybe she does. She has a retrofit. She does have good legs, though. She does have Freedom's legs. No, no oath. She has some good skins, though. <sighs> Look at the eagle with the necktie! Transfer student from afar. Did you see the newest Pokemon they showed off? A new rabbit called Slaw Bunny. I didn't see. I, I've been kind of out of touch on <laughs> on a lot of stuff just because I've between traveling and uh, trying to to not die while traveling. <laughs> it's an FPS DMC style game of killing in the most over the top way. That's interesting. Slobundies. That's. Ha <laughs> ha! 
start literally before I got hit with a D's nuts joke. I was talking about how I was trying to be more careful to not get hit by D's nuts jokes. I, uh... I deserved that one anyway. Oh, this is one of my new wives, Drake. I really want her to get an Oath skin. Instead, she just has this beauty. Is this TOS for Twitch? I don't care if it is, she's worth it. Ban me, I'm not afraid to die. I see a big titty silver hair girl. I press develop. Yes, sir! There's a pool, it's good. <laughs> All hail Queen Elizabeth. Oh, oh no. Oh no, rip. Jack Sparrow girl version. What do you mean I need hundreds of blueprints? I gave her the ring. I don't care if she's not that great. Wait, is she live 2D? Ooh, <laughs> Does she have live 2D and I just haven't noticed? She casually walked into my life and stole my heart. Ours grandson gonna scream crap crap every time he freak out. What did he mean by this? That butt, oh my god. <laughs> Instead of commenting about her bottom, I must say her voice is great. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. Grinding 24-7 for thick tights. <laughs> Perfect ass changed my mind. The quintessential Battlefield 1 pose. I guess it is, isn't it? Some gentleman in check. <laughs> I don't know if she's... I'll check for a live 2D afterwards. I didn't know she had live 2D. Let's see. <laughs> Can't unsee the Battlefield 1. I know, right? That was my... Pro I was like, oh no, I'm never going to be able to see anything else. It looks like the cover of Battlefield 1. I really want to play Battlefield 1. Uh, I have Battlefield 1 and I have uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. I wanted to play both of them really badly. I just haven't had time. I also have the uh, Call of Duty that has Space Jon Snow and I want to play that one too. I have a Call of Duty and battle f a, a battle log. Big Mommy come to me. Frida, big mama, demon girl. Mama Friedrich, please pat me. First time I feel so calm and panic at the same time. Finally oathed her. So kids, this is how I met our, mo our mother. <laughs> Gentlemen, I did it. I married my mom. <laughs> oh Every Mother's Day needs a Mother's Day. Yeah, that's the thing is Azure Lane comments are are universally unhinged, which is why sometimes I just I just roll into the comments and hang out for a while. FBI here. <laughs> I don't know 
know what this means. Better have two level 100, one five star, and other two star. I don't know what that means. And maybe I don't, the fact that it's so upvoted, maybe I don't want to know what that means. I love jail now. I love the people who come in with like historical facts. She is 21. She got sold to scrap 1939 to 1960. <laughs> I like her flat flight deck. Sumimasa so and FBI dissing. <laughs> she <laughs> Who's next? Man did his homework. That's the other thing I love about Azure Lane is like sometimes you will get just like weirdly historical about stuff. <laughs> They're like, actually, <laughs> she, she was, she was, uh, <laughs> she was sold for scrap. <laughs> actually, she, she never, uh, weighed anchor in that port. So that dojin isn't, isn't relevant. Time for the head nod cult to invade the world. The head nod intensifies. Head nod. Head nod. Lol. <laughs> Fuck the world. I'm kidding. My waifu. <laughs> head nod power. Christmas head nod. <laughs> this is so far more effective than any history class ever. So that's the thing is like... The first time I watched Midway, I turned to the people I was watching it with and I like, because at some point they were like, they were like, wait, how many ships are there and how many are left? And I sort of explained like the hit order, like what ships were at Midway, like which ones were currently on fire according to like the historical like order that they, they got hit in and everything. And they were like, wow, I didn't know you were such a World War II buff. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, I learned all of this from Asher Lane. I mean, I didn't tell them that, but I had to sit with that knowledge for a long time. I had to, I had to sit and know what I was. Head nod. Aqua cosplay? Question mark. Is this the power of the head nod? Hello, hello! Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you missed some unhinged comments and a lot of roommate stories. 8,000 points, gang. I don't remember how I got her. I don't think it was from points. Well, maybe it was. No oath lines? Where oath lines? Oath skin? They got an oath skin. Her smile earned her my ring today. She does have a pretty smile. 150 cubes, is this man okay? Fuck, gotcha, I'm grinding for this beauty. <laughs> oh, does she look like a... Do not go to the head. Does she look like a Love Live? Was that some of the school idol comments, I guess? I don't know Love Live very well. Hello to everyone that get this ship foo on the first 10 pull. Remember, no horny. Elf, elf, life is if you have elf fetish. <laughs> Nice ears, but wait, where is your underwear? Bless Tony for his elves. <laughs> Down horrendous. Mm. 
deed. I guess she does have some deed lit energy. I see two curtains that lead to the divide. I was gonna ask, yeah, I thought the singular of elves was elf. <laughs> Gets ship, yes, reads ship history, I'll protect you. <laughs> ah, to be able to give her a hug and tell her she's loved. <laughs> Herself, finally, a girl I can relate to. Oh my god. I'm trying to get her oath skin too. $400 ship! Gotcha, girl! I spent 120 cube, but my girlfriend play one week and got her. Just got independence, thanks. Comment section, see, see? Do Azure Lane players go and visit the actual ships their wives are based on? Yeah, 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 they definitely do. I know there are a bunch of uh, Kankale fans who did the same thing. I think it's sort of like, I mean, a lot of these girls, like they, their ships no longer exist because they were basically scuttled to use to build other ships or to sell. Um, but, a few of the girls, a few of the girls are like museums now, um, and so if if your if your wife happens to be a museum, then you can go visit her. <laughs> I hope they do and tell everyone there why they are there. <laughs> The top post of the Reddit is one guy who oathed his ship foo on her. Good for him. Yeah, I need to look up. I used to know which ones were uh, were museum ships now. And I knew where some of them were too. Cause I, I looked them up because I was like, I was like, could I go visit some? Unfortunately, my, my ship foo enterprise is scrap now, so I can't go see her, but. This entire community is so perverted. I love it. I want those thighs to sandwich me. That's not how a skirt works. A thousand cubes? Holy crap. Her look is the same like the girl that I like in my university. Oh no. <laughs> howdy, howdy, beetle. Yeah, I need to look up who the who the current who the current uh whatchamacallits who the current museum ships are. I want to see her dojin. Oh, so Belfast is still around? Okay, cool. I only- I mostly knew the American ships at some point. Something is going up and it's not London. <laughs> Megane wa psycho! Cute bespeckled disciplinarian and part-time mom. It's Lady Sherlock. Sate sate. London is my city. What an ideal wife. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I've made the mistake of clicking on a submarine. For some reason, the submarine comments get way more wild than like all of the other comments. Thighs. <laughs> Luckily, her name is U96. What is she's U69? This guy tried. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had something. He had something going there, but he, he sort of flubbed the execution. <laughs> She is totally cool with hanging out with you in her underwear. Absolute Chad. <laughs> or to one of the men who is inside her today. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's <laughs> this. The subs and the destroyers are the roughest comment section. I like this du this duo up here. Like this comment if you dislike cringe ten pulls comments. First ten pull, what a great start! <laughs> I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is an emo girl. Mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> Gotta love Iron Blood Mommies. I think I understand her. I just wish I could hold her in my arms. You say Mommy, I say Mistress. Mommy. <laughs> I think I got her my first pull, actually. I love you, my depressed goth queen. Hot goth auntie. Do people like them more because they are actually ships or are these people just waifu chasers? I think there's a weird combination of the two that really drives it home. Oh, I'm kind of afraid of this comment section. I was gonna say like, I think the fact that they are ships and like you can read about their history and stuff is part of the joy because you're like, you're like, I'm married. I'm married to the ship that, uh, I'm trying to think of like a good example. Like, oh, I'm married to the ship that shielded the wa the, the USS Washington in a crucial naval battle during World War II. <laughs> like, it's, you can get so specific. And I think that's part of the, I think that's part of the draw. I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if I... She has an oath skin, but it kind of looks like her like regular skin. She's just kneeling and has a hood. And I guess she has this wolfy guy too. Damn, I'm glad I don't have to explain to Grandpa that I owe to have the Kino Buta in it. <laughs> okay, so that was actually something I did. <laughs> Is uh my 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 Moose Papa's dad actually was on a a ship in World War II, <laughs> and I knew which ship it was. But I was like, I wanted to set it up, and I was like, what ship was uh was Grandpa on again? And he told me. And, uh, <laughs> and I was like, wow, <laughs> that's great. This is her now. <laughs> and, uh, sh and she's one of the bustier ships. <laughs> and he just looked at her and he went, wow, she has really big guns. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you ever see that one post a few years ago about the guy who was biologically related to Nightingale finding out about the face series? Yes. I remember he was like, please stop drawing hentai of my grandma. <laughs> B. 
bonk anti horny girl bonk time. You should to wear some flowers in your head. I see. I want a family with you. We live in a society. Pudding, who's pudding? Putting these nuts in. Why am I getting it on here, too? Scared Atlanta noises. Unzip pants, bonk this. Another one. A lot of pudding. A lot of Harley Quinn jokes. Oh, I like her. Hachama! <laughs> Hachama can bake cookies? Revive Hato! <laughs> She's getting a new skin. Let's go, boys. Rip wallet coon. Cookie Yabe Desne. Cookies intensifies. How I met your mother. Each day, Hollow Live grows stronger in Asher Lane. Ho. <laughs> How chama chama. Oh my god, everyone is making that joke. Yes, we will build a healthy relationship. All I know about Hato is that she called herself Halloween Gen Zero. <laughs> you know what? I have a bad feeling about these comments, but I... Ooh, this is my lady. This is my lady. God save the queen. Thigh window for the win. Wait, the translator? I like that this guy's name is Here for Waifu. I like that he's straightforward. Wait, did they... Did she have like a cringe... Skill name and they changed it. Glisten Light of Glory. Scatter Minions of Darkness. Behold my Royal Saber. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Petition to change the name of her second skill. Is the second skill. So is this one. Scatter minions of darkness. Ah, now I want to look up what it was originally. Suzutsuki. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> that has a thousand likes. Suzutsuki. <laughs> Time to feed the ducks. Royaru Surash. That sounds like the last skill. Also, you know, some of my ships are not fully equipped. That's because I, I just reworked and re-equipped all of my um all of all of my my squads because I was trying to do some some content and I wanted to be optimized so some people thick where's the fucking voice 
That leg makes me fire my salvo every time. Yo, dog, I heard you like barrages. Takes a PhD to use skill two. Her skill two exists. Confused screaming. Can I tosa your salad? <laughs> what is her second skill? Everybody's freaking out about it. When the ship is afloat, the fleet the ship is not in. Okay, now I see why people are freaking out. When the ship is afloat, and the ship is the fleet this ship is not in has a battleship as its flagship, and said fleet is engaging in its third, fourth, or fifth battle, she launches a special barrage after the other fleet's battle begins. Okay. So if the other, if the, yeah, this is Yu-Gi-Oh level text. So if the other fleet has a battleship as its flagship and they're in their third, fourth, or fifth battle, she launches a special barrage. When this ship is in combat and takes damage or when an enemy comes within close range of the ship, she also fires a barrage. That's not that hard to figure out, guys. Come on. Yeah, I feel like- oh, we got another submarine. I feel like the equipment in this game, it, it's harder than like Girls Frontline because there's so much of it. Like in Girls Frontline, I feel like you have like two different types of like body equipment for SMGs and like three different sights and then like one type of bullet. Unless it's like a special a special bullet it's really like more about is it gold green or blue and i guess they've added more recently um because i've been trying to figure out sort of what's what's the meta for the newer stuff that they added but it's still not i can i'll pull up my equipment bank it's nowhere near at the level that azure lane is at how can it be Yu-Gi-Oh level text if you are reading it that's true. I wish that twerp were me. <laughs> Anya Forger. <laughs> she is 81. <laughs> she does look like Anya, kind of. Supple submarine butts. You bet your ass I get kink. What? <laughs> no bottom shark teeth. Shark teeth. What, you guys actually got through cubes? Parentheses, I bought it. <laughs> Oh, I really like her, Yuho. I love her. <laughs> Legs as far as the eye can see. Friendship ended with Unicorn. Now my healer is Ryuho. We need dojins of her. <laughs> her art is confirmed. She isn't wearing a panty smiley face. I love how comments with actual info get erased by terrible jokes and innuendos. Bought her skin today, don't have any cash left, but I don't regret it. Bottomless. Schrodinger's pantsuit. Anti artist, my time is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah i'm not here for real information wait let me inspect sorry to twitch if i don't know how to zoom in on pc 
Clearly I'm not doing it right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely... I think the, I think the boys are right. Oh, Aquila looks... She's really cool. I like her a lot. That's the thing is, I never know... I have all of these really good, like... Italian and French ships, but I'm never like I just feel like my I feel like my Eagle Union Royal Navy and Sakura ships are all like so good that I'm like why would I build like because I don't because that's the other thing is like your um your cats. Your, your cats that you can use to, for buffs, they don't really have buffs for some of the, like, for some of the, the I don't want to say lesser fleets, but they, they don't have buffs for, like, specific to Aquila, whereas they have buffs that are specific to, like, a Sakura ship. Throw big guns at the problem, let the French and Italians drink wine. Sit on me. <laughs> that V on her skin. What V? Do they mean? Wait, I'm trying. I'm legitimately trying to see what they're talking. She's not showing a lot of skin. This is. It's really. This is it. Is he talking about this V here? Maybe. Okay, I'll name you illustrious number two. I think she's cute. Naval pizza carrier. A Rivadurchi boob window. <laughs> I'm just looking at them planes, don't mind me. <laughs> Wait, what is her swimsuit? I love I love how the bow tied to her actually has like the runway pattern on it. That's really smart. Oh. <laughs> I see. Oh, well, that one's really cute. I see. Understood. <laughs> Have a nice day. She is thick. Insert Lenny face. Wait, what? This best character that approved Admiral with anxiety. <laughs> See, here's another one. She's a I think she's a another Italian ship. And I'm like, she's so good, but I'm just I don't know. Big boobs, <laughs> big fat bust. <laughs> Bella Ciao. Everyone is begging them to get rid of the text box on the live 2D skin. I wonder if you can... Oh, this must be... Ah! I see! Understood. Have a nice day. <laughs> you can Bella Chow on D's. Yeah, 
obvious at you. Wow, I love Italy. <laughs> Brett. Oh, Prince Heinrich. She's got good under boob. At this point, I question the sisterhood of you getting hipper. Beautiful armpits, check. Under boobs, check. Nice thighs, check. What else? I genuinely like her personality. <laughs> German engineering, my friends. How her rags stay neatly under her shirt is beyond scientific explanation. There was a Hololive collab with this game. Um, it was pretty early on in the English release and they haven't come back to it. Like they rerun other other events, but they haven't rerun that one. And I would love for them to, because I would really love to get, get the ships. I want to see you jump on my face. Probably not Mario. <laughs> I want to secure, contain, and protect her. Pasta no shiro. Ouija. <laughs> Name's too long, I'll call you Luigi instead. Armpits side boobsy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't expect the the Hollow Live one to return, but I would I'd love if it would. Uh let me Beep. Yeah, they also did a Neptunia collab. With these Neptunias. They did a big Kizuna Eye collab with actually four separate Kizuna Eye ships. Um, so yeah, so I was here for the Dead or Alive collab. Is this Idol Master collab? But yeah, so they, for Hollow Lives, so yeah, they have a couple keys and eyes for VTubers, but then they had a Gridman collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had, um, they had both a collab for characters and for special equipment. I think the special equipment's actually considered pretty good. Um, but yeah, they have like Fubuki, Looking Glass of Fact, and... Fiction, I'm guessing it's gonna be. So they had Fubuki, uh, Sora, Aqua, Matsuri, Ayame, Shion, and Mio in here. For, uh, for Hollow Live. And I really wish they would rerun it, but I kind of feel like they're not going to. <laughs> I kind of feel like I missed my shot. These are the ones that you have to develop. Metas. I missed a couple metas just because I was like not super actively playing at the time. Mm 
Yeah, I hope that they like do another collab with Hololive, but they add like more girls as well. Bring back the old ones too. Yeah, why is Umisi not in the boat game? Yeah, how is Marine not in this? I'm trying to think of. Marine must have debuted by the time that collab happened, because Mio's in there and she's a. Wait, did gamers come before or after fantasy? So I was like, why is why is the pirate capta capta the <laughs> pirate captain not in the ship game? Let's see, where was I? Let's see, who's who's bound to have some good ones? Really been enjoying the Italian the Italian ship comments. <sighs> that S is made for wrecking Jeepers. L2DS be speechless like Jesus. Wait, what happened? Pizza St. Louis. <laughs> Her clothes is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Wait, what is in the skins that has people... get recently oh, I just recently got monarch actually is it TOS if I clip that the thicker the thighs the bigger the prize step on me now I want her thighs to take away my breathing privileges Sandwich me, please. Monarch, you are breathtaking. <laughs> Wait, RN ship? It's not RN, she's HMS. I think. Oh, that's a big spider. It's outside the window, though, so it's okay. <laughs> that's a... Big boy. Holy moly. Woohoo! I actually, uh... I actually got super brave earlier. And, uh... And moved a spider that was in the way of my stream setup. I moved it with, like, a little piece of paper I found, and I've gently put it down somewhere. I'm actually- I can see it from across the room, but... I was very proud of myself. I'm working through. I'm working through something over here. Let's see who. Therese! <laughs> Miss M, did I want off this wild ride? Check Mulaney. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait, buy one, get one. Let's see. Mulaney. She's a Royal Navy ship, right?
Oh, she's Eagle Union DD. Hold on. While I'm in the neighborhood, I need to see what the Azure Lane community is doing over here right now. F. <laughs> Eagle Union DD. Oh, there she is. Did you see that, guys? Those gorgeous big dots. Star Power 666, the fuck? side of the game. <laughs> I see names. DD with DDs. <laughs> she is too gorgeous to be Fletcher class. <laughs> Tumblr wants to know your location. <laughs> oh boy. on Sandy got some concerning comments. And good night, Edgy. Let's see. People get so mad about the first poll comments. Reload main gun with religious intent. <laughs> Percent drops to zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Charles Osborne got a retrofit. She was one of the most recent ones, if not the most recent one, I think. I don't know if it's like, I haven't tried her out post retrofit. of no bully squad. <laughs> oh, Bremerton was a good one. She, I think she has a tennis skin. Yeah. Day off date. Oh, that's so cute! It's this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this entire comment section needs a hefty bonking. You <laughs> fucking horny. Pics of artists, please let her rest already. Get 69 likes for no reason. First damn comment I see is please sit on my face. 
painfully thick. Oh yeah, Taiho is another good one. Hi, uh, where is my Taiho? I think I have her all leveled up, or maybe I do. No, I don't think I do, actually. There she is. Look at those bulges, boys. Taiho, did you get me? Me, yes, Taiho, what did it cost me? Everything. What is this? Oh no. I got her day one, you peasants. The forbidden codes. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> My wallet, what did it cost me? Everything. <laughs> I'll look into it for you, thanks. I appreciate your valiant sacrifice. Oh yeah, Repulse. Repulse is a good wife. I was really excited when she got a meta, because I was... Though I honestly would have been, like, happy if she got a retrofit instead. So I could actually just, like, use her as her, like... Her original incarnation. Tomboy alert. <laughs> yeah, give her OG retrofit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, where's the original? Because she was one of my, like, when I feel like everyone, when they first start, like, Repulse is everyone's favorite. Because she's really easy to get, and she's cute. I mean, she's just cute and has good art and she you get her a million of her when you're just like drawing for things so I feel like I feel like like she's everybody's like immediate favorite and then you realize that she's only like kind of passable and has no skins and no retrofit <laughs> and then you abandon her but I just <laughs> feels like pure shite just want him back Yeah, I wish they would give her a retrofit and or some skins. Please, please love Repulse. Repulse my ding dong pulse. Yeah, everyone is like, please. Yeah, every commander first love. See, see, they agree with me. Retrofit win. Do it right and marry her before retiring her? No! Tier lists don't matter, fellas. Here's a real champion up here. Artillery is artillery, you fucks. <laughs> Japanese torpedoes can't melt British steel. Of all of the girls, why I fall for her? Do I need her in real life? <laughs> Sh 
she's got some plot. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing is everyone is heartbroken over Repulse because everyone is like, please give us anything, Queen. And they're just like, eh. Trying to think of ones that I've gotten recently that might be. I might have some solid comments on them. D uh, Dido, I have not done. Alright, I have both Dido U and regular Dido. I think she's down here. Oh, there she is. Just saw a character named Foot, and I refuse to believe those comments are anything but a wasteland. I will go look at her after. <laughs> Head pets. Head pats. Precious cinnamon roll. Too good for this world. Too pure. Need oath skin. She got hella fat titties. No, I will not abandon you. Her name is pronounced Dido, you hentais. Milk me. Love this ship. Just wait for the doge. <laughs> All the cursed codes. Yeah, wait. Where'd you see foot? Hold on. This is important. Because you're right. Those comments are going to be a wasteland, which is exactly why I need to see them. St. Louis has to be good. She's big. She's... Actually, she's gonna have Sui say comments, I think. $400 ship, gotcha girl. Sui say with big booba. Good job, Dev. In her new skin, you just made man's dream come true. <laughs> her dojins is amazing. St. Ludus. Whale bait, I and I bit Sasugayo star. How dare somebody say hot Helena? Helena is hot. Best pixiv loot. Yeah, I'm shocked at the only uh, only one Suise comment. I feel like that was the first thing I thought of. Isn't there a thing about the horse girls game where the Yakuza actually gets super... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think... Well, it's not even just the Yakuza, because I think there's, like, the organizations that own the horses, I think, were like, please stop, like, making hentai of, of our racing horses that we spend a lot of money on. <laughs> Dude, your skin is killing my family! <laughs> Wait! Wait, did I miss that one? <laughs> did I just like glaze? Did I just glaze over that? This one, right? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Wait, which one is it? Oh, <laughs> it could really be any of them, frankly. Foot. 
Oh, I see her. <laughs> so your name is Foot. Eh? Foot. <laughs> Foot and mouth disease. Surrender your feet. Burger King foot lettuce, what? <laughs> Something's a foot. <laughs> not remember that meme? I guess I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, hold on, where's my idol master girls? I didn't really, I've not really done much with them. Try the girls with names with states. Oh, oh. Giving hugs, not just handshakes. Dazzling elegance from this idol, you guys. <laughs> Rip money. Here's another way to warm up your voice. Her new code is, what does this mean? Oh, I think I know what it means. Wait, somebody had Mume's name? Oh my god, somebody does! <laughs> and he did two in a row! Okay, good night. Did I tone it down? Am I too exuberant? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh, I will. I will. I won't. I'll go to bed soon. <laughs> um, sorry, I was just asked to tone it down because I'm getting too exuberant over these ships. Um, let's. <laughs> Which starter did you pick? I picked uh pick the German one. I picked Z23. It was my starter. Okay, let me look at the state name ships. Getting too exuberant over these ship vibes. Um, I've already looked at New Jersey. What about Georgia? Georgia. Georgia Beam, I love you 3000. These people are shockingly straightforward. Georgia is bay. The devil went down to Georgia meme. Let's see. Oklahoma. Oklahoma's a cutie. Half the people on this server can't appreciate underrated ships, bruh. Bunch of rude comments. Everyone's fighting. I 
I have nine of you, and I don't plan on retiring a single one. <laughs> one of the ships sunk in Pearl Harbor, press F. Best common girl. Throw Washington. Thank you, Washington. Very cool. <laughs> Wear bunny skin. Hiroshima exists. Washington shells. It's free real estate. <laughs> Who wants to die in her chest? Jalter of Azure Lane. It's funny how George Washington was self conscious about his smile, too. <laughs> I, I don't understand why people this was, will bring up random historical facts. Good night, Lamp. I should actually head out soon, too, because I was just asked to quiet down because other people are going to bed. <laughs> Thickness is overwhelming me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do Alabama? Let me check Alabama. George Washington's teeth were a nightmare. Didn't he have like wooden teeth? Or something. Oh yeah, there's Alabama. Bama. She doesn't have any skins either. That shocks me. She's a cutie. Sweat. Oh baby. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> it's. I can't tell if this is. A mistake or completely intentional? <laughs> I like this bunny with his heart out. <laughs> Chippy needs to chill out. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Home sweat home Alabama. I love her like a sister. <laughs> I wish my grandfather was alive to see his ship again. Oh my god. <laughs> this king over here. Banjo music slowly gets louder. She is, she is such a cutie, though. I wish she did have more ships. <laughs> Can I get some likes for no reason? She's an AABB with a sweet pair of DD. <laughs> Random Horia Yui noise. Everyone wants wants bunny skin. Did she get a bunny skin? Oh. Yep. Let's see who else is Arena. Well, Arena's not a 
I don't know what water. Iron Man is a hero while Iron Girl is a light cruiser. <laughs> Night Cup. <laughs> Iron Man's secret love child, Reno Stark Lamau. I could do this all day. <laughs> Avenger theme starts. Massachusetts. Good civilization. <laughs> MIT equals Massachusetts Institute of Thickness, obviously. <laughs> Legend has it, she now lives in Fall River, Mass. So well, I guess there's the answer to one of our questions. Feels something rising, and it's not the shield hero. <laughs> Twenty-seven hundred pounds of justice on my face. Who needs a Harvard or MIT when you have this? <laughs> Don't misclick on Albacore. <laughs> Wasn't gonna. <laughs> I just love reading through these. Oh, Yorktown is a cutie. Yorktown's a cutie. Big Titty's mommy ship. Oh, Irisville. <laughs> I oathed her, I cried. This is where men cried. Don't forget her like the others did. Her forehead is the runway Laval. You are the perfect mom for our child. <laughs> Luckily, luckily my stream tomorrow is a little earlier, so I shouldn't have the same problem where people are going to bed. I hate, I hate being the, the loud person that keeps everybody awake. <laughs> I don't like it. Wait, does she not have any comments? There's no way. Maybe they just didn't load. I like how they're called rumors. Oh, they're not loading for some reason. What time is your stream? I'm streaming at 5 EST tomorrow. 
5 EST so that I so that I don't uh, cause problems for people. to get the armpit comment off top it has 86 and then lick that armpit is 436 <laughs> oh they remove the comments okay that makes sense When you want to smoke, but doesn't have any matches. <laughs> Matchless? Here, have my lighter. <laughs> oh my god, please. Boo. <laughs> He's got big, big honkers, right? Yeah. I ho, but British. <laughs> what? <laughs> In Dama titties. Stop staring and don't look at the phone screen. Future wife spotted. I have two very big reasons why I want <laughs> I owe her, she's like, okay, but why? <laughs> oh, where's Honolulu? Well, <laughs> like, I like how fast people are with just like, <laughs> vote this. <laughs> This is criminal. So where is Honolulu? He's got a good, good old rack. Let's see. There she is. <laughs> now I know why she's popular. Oath and retrofit waiting room. And people, some some ships that I'm expecting to be like completely degenerate are actually like, you know, pretty pretty just like, I I like her. I just think she's neat. <laughs> Honolulu to Electric Boogaloo. How did she even get into her clothes? Pizza time! Whoa, mama! Honolulu version 0 0.2. Go commit heavy melons. <laughs> Honolulu Luigi. <laughs> Honolulu, but pasta. <laughs> what a great job the Italians did. I 
saw. Oh, there she is. Saw the. We have Enterprise at home. <laughs> I'm you, but cruiser. <laughs> when Enterprise finally prefers tea over coffee. Oh, we'll enter this prize. <laughs> oh my god. A wadi time in it, bruv. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I am actually going to going to wrap it up though, so I don't wake anybody up with my with my cackling. Um but I am gonna stream tomorrow on YouTube and I'm gonna be trying to draw for Horne. Um I have like about 20,000 coins I think so I have a good 20 pulls in me uh, so we're gonna try and get Horne off of those 20 and if I don't then I'm still gonna have some new characters to mess around with so I will try them out and farm more coins <laughs> so I can get her. Just remember that spider on your window is just waiting for you to let your guard down. He definitely is and I will never let my guard down. <laughs> it was very insightful. <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for coming to the stream. Oh we're on Twitch so I have to raid. <laughs> always confused about where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Who's on? Who's on? So many new people came to look respectfully. <laughs> um, I don't know who to raid. I don't really know anyone who's on right now. How do I? Got a cute dino who enjoys thick thighs. Give, give me, give me, give me the name. Drop the, drop the digits. The Jeff Keeley tag is pulling people. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Tara, Tara. I follow her on Twitter. I don't know why I don't follow her here. Good call. Good call. Will not give you the new code on Twitter. Um. Yeah, thank you guys for coming and watching and talking about Azure Lane ships. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow to pull for Corone on YouTube. And I hope you have a good night. Raid message is thick thighs save lives. Uh, <laughs> you've just had that tag on since then? I mean, why would I get rid of it when it's the truth? <laughs> um, I just saw the chip tag. <laughs> Uh, but have a good night, or a good morning, or a good afternoon, or whatever it is, wherever you are. See you tomorrow, and Otsu Moose! <laughs>